Yeah, well, can you just keep an eye out for her? Thanks. For nothing. <sighs> hey. You look exhausted. You need to get your head down. Well, I'll sleep when I find my daughter. The police will do that. Oof. What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and twiddle me thumbs? Let me do your brew. I don't want a brew, Mum. Where is she? What was Tracy thinking? <sighs> Maybe in her warped mind, she thought she were doing the best thing. <laughs> what, by leaving a daughter with a convicted murderer? No, we don't know that for sure. No, we don't know, do we? We don't know anything. It's doing me head in. I'm going to go and look for her. The police said stay put. I could give a monkeys what the police said. I'm going. <sighs> look, they'll find her. I know. But do I open up? Do I keep the shop? It was an accident. But it was my fault. And his head trauma? I, I don't remember then. What about the marks on his arms? Oh, well, that was to stop him, you know, falling downstairs. But then when he did fall, you left him, unconscious. Is it all right if I phone my daughter's dad? I need to know she got home safe. Do you remember asking Mr Britton to lie for you? Listen, I've told you this. He didn't know what I'd done. He hasn't done anything wrong. Except pervert the course of justice. Yeah, because I convinced him. Look, it's my fault. All of it is my fault. You said you were arguing. What about? Uh, well, that was about me and Amy. Um, we're not blood related. And I said to Dad that... I said that he didn't love us as much as he loved the rest of them. For the benefit of the tape, Detective Inspector Young is present. Amy's still not home. You don't think she could be with Mr. Donovan, do you? Oh, for the millionth time, I have not seen Rob. Sorry, yeah, yeah, he did say. And you'd have to be an idiot to leave your daughter with a convicted murderer who's on the run from some pretty nasty people. I mean, if they catch up with him before we do. But like you say, you haven't seen him, have you? I'm sure Amy'll be fine. How could... How are you doing yet? Oh, yeah, just like having my head stuck in a car bonnet. <sighs> can't we just take it to a garage? No, we can't just take it to a garage, Amy, because someone might recognise me. In case you've forgotten, I am on the run. You think a lot yourself, don't you? <sighs> You're not Joey Essex. Thankfully. <laughs> well, just leave me to get on with it, yeah? Rob. What? Are you sorry? For what you did to Tina. Every day. Do you even know what you're doing? Yes, I used to fix cars with a mate of mine. Let's just ring Mum and get her to pick us up. We can't do that. Look, I know she's stalling the police so you can get away, but you're not getting very far, are you? She can ring the florist van and you can hide in the back. Your mum asked me to take you home. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Just ring her. No. You're being stupid. Give me a phone and I'll ring her. No. Why are you being so weird? <laughs> you got her. The police have the arrested her for helping you. Answer me. Is my mum banged up because of you? Get in the car. I'm not going anywhere with you. Get in the car, Amy. No. Fine. The police have arrested her for attacking your granddad. 